Grant of View 6 and today we're looking at some more Magento 2 admin features. Um, let's just flip over into the back end of our demo store and if we click into products and into catalog. And now in a previous video we were looking at the ability to add uh, additional columns into the grid view in here. Um, and one of the benefits of adding additional columns is you can then also use them to do filtering or create filters. So let's just um, go to our columns in here and let's just add in a URL key. And you'll see in the background the screen changes slightly, adds that column in. Um, and if we then go into the filters button at the top, which is a new button on Magento 2, um, you'll see a display. And this basically displays all of these attributes that we've got in the grid below. Um, so URL key is a new one we've added in ourselves a moment ago. Um, but what this allows us to do is to create a filter um, that we could then use for any reason really. Let's just uh, give an example here, we're looking for products that we've got between 30 and 6,000 of. Um, and let's say the URL key starts with SOL, just as an example. If we apply this filter, you'll see that the product count goes down to 21 records. Uh, if I go um, back to the default view at the top here and click on that, you'll see we've got 2,046 records initially. Um, so here's our our filter again, so 30 to 6,000, and we said it was going to be, oh, let me add my URL key back in again, URL key, okay, up this so well. And apply that, so we're down to 21, 21 records. Um, so obviously you can create your own custom filters. Um, in the drop down under the default view on top right, you can then save this new view. I call this one 326K SOL. And click on the little arrow there, and that saves it. And then in the drop down, what you now see is two filters, my default view filter along with my custom filter, and that allows me to, um, as I say, filter specific items out. When you're using these custom filters, um, you'll see on the top here, there's a, a, a list of the filters that are actually in use. So you can always take this away in a granular fashion, like so. So a good little feature, if you manage lots of products in your catalog, um, certainly gonna help you. Um, one final quick thing is under the products per page, there's now also a custom option in here. So you can put in here any number you like, so I've got 25 in for example, and it adds it to my drop down list of options. And because it's a custom one, there's a little icon to the right that allows me to actually edit it, um, or I can delete it. Okay, um, hope that helps. Um, any questions, add them to the comments in the video, or get in contact with us at View6.